It shall be done between Josh Emmett and Mirsad Bektic. The third time they've tried to book this fight. It's supposed to happen in Philadelphia. But Josh Emmett took Michael Johnson because, as he says, he wants to fight the toughest names, and that was the biggest name he was offered. They were originally uh, scheduled to fight back in Poland a couple of years ago. But now they are in the octagon, and the gate is shut. Josh yeah. Emmett in the black, Mirsad Bektic is in the gray. And listen to that crowd. These guys are so evenly matched. Wrestling ability, punching power, aggression. It's a tremendous piece of matchmaking by the UFC. Mirsad Bektic, a minus 155 favorite on the road here in Josh Emmett's hometown. Emmett landed on his way in there. Emmett plus 125 as an underdog. Look out when he dips and throws that big looping right hook. Yeah, Emmett was saying that he spars with a lot of professional boxers and more than holds his own. He didn't want to tell tales outside of the training room, but you kind of get the feeling that he dropped one or two of them. Meanwhile, a big swing and a miss from Bektic. When Emmett decides to let it go, if that connects, you are in serious trouble. He was losing that Michael Johnson fight. There was about a minute to go before he landed the bomb with the right hand that ended things in dramatic fashion. He's swinging a miss again for Bektic. And it was exactly the same with Ricardo Lamas. He wasn't losing the fight, but the knockout was the same. They hit the floor, and they didn't move. They were out like a light. And that big looping overhand right can work well for Team Alpha Male, guys. We saw Song Yadong throw that with effectiveness last week in Las Vegas. And route to a performance of the night bonus. As the crowd rises to support their hometown fighter once again. I'll tell you what, though. Bektic is swinging very, very hard as well. Both guys, they know that. They know they can't just walk in with reckless about them because they're swinging with a lot of leather. Steps in for a body shot, does Emmett that time, and Bektic shakes it off. Bektic born in Bosnia and moved to the United States, Nebraska as a nine-year-old, got involved in wrestling. Yeah, we're well, talking of wrestling, it's interesting because neither man has even thought about shooting a double leg right now. I think Bektic, typically that's what we see him doing, but I, I, I think he knows at this stage of the game, first round, it would be a waste of his energy because Emmett has a you know, pretty good wrestling background. So therefore, he's got no choice but to stand with the man. And both of them have, have knockout power, but I think we've seen that Emmett, you know, has the, the edge, shall we say, in that regard. Bektic has trained in some wrestling at some camps with the U.S. Olympian Jordan Burroughs. But as you said, Michael, yet to put it on display, he can strike as well. We mentioned Godo, uh, Godofredo Pepe, the performance of the night win that came in Charlotte January of last Ooh. year. Meanwhile, Emmett... Tips out of the way of another looping right hook from Bektic. Yeah, both guys are just putting absolutely everything into oh, every shot. Wow. Stunned by the jab, and Emmett's on That's top it. trying to end it. Just a little jump, put him on his backside. And now some hammer fist coming down from the local. He's down, he's down. Gets Bektic to his back. Ooh, Looking nice for big elbows. shots. The elbow lands in the left. Continues oh, to rain oh, down. Now shot. big shots from the right. Josh oh. Emmett trying to end it oh. in the heavy first shot. round. And that oh. is it. Josh Emmett wow. in his hometown of Sacramento by knockout again. Ooh. It doesn't take much, does it? <laughs> Apparently not. 
His power is not a myth, and it doesn't have to be a big, powerful shot. This is the thing, the jab is sometimes underutilized in mixed martial arts, but it's a solid shot, especially when you have the power that Josh Emmett has. It was just the jab as Bektic was coming forward, put him down, and then from there, swarmed all over him. He was like a dog with the bone, and that was that. That's all she wrote. Amazing work. Here it is. Steps forward with the jab, sits him down. You see Bektic just kind of thinking what just happened there. And then once he got round the back here, he took turtle position and just started swinging hard, as hard as he could with that shot there, with that right hand. Referee looking closer, and it was that one there underneath that knocked the head. And from here, Betis didn't really know what was going on. Here it is. One up through the middle now. Boom, that was the one. That was the beginning of the end. And in the locker room is the California kid and teammate of Josh Emmett. <laughs> and how do you like those vibes in the locker room, huh? Oh, yeah. That is good energy to walk out to your next fight. The man you train with wins by knockout or quick stoppage. And to make it official for Josh Emmett's first round knockout, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by TKO, Josh Emmett!